Hello, YouTube. We are back with some more commentary. I'm joined by my brother from another mother, TJ. I'm the mother from another brother. Oh, it's me. It. Oh, God. He did it. Perfect. Keep going. Um, but we are back with an extra round of Anthony. For those of you who love watching this man play machine, he's back uh, playing machine again. And this time he's going against Diaboromon, uh, played by Will. So as I've said before, I think in our first round, like we're getting to the point in the meta where a lot of us are getting a little stir crazy. We've got EX5 coming out this week. Um, by the time this video uploads, probably I think within the next day or two, so should be excited and get some more deck profiles in, some more commentary with the new cards, which will be fun for everybody to see. Um, but for now, I think people are just getting ready for the new set, trying to bring some spice to locals and have some fun with it. So Will's bringing back Diaboro. Um, I don't know what his ratios are and whatnot, so I'm interested to see how he crafted this. So it should be a good match to see. Uh, curious to see how this goes. Um, what do you think, TJ? Yeah. I, dude, I love Diaboro so much, and I can't wait to see more support for it down the road. And I, Will, he was doing. Will is such a uh, um, a methodical and like technical player. He's very, very, like, he's very good at knowing what his deck does and knowing like optimal plays on a turn. He's very, very quick with it. Yeah, yeah. So should be a good matchup. We got two good players here. Um, as I said in previous videos, our socials are linked down in the video description below. It'll be our Twitter, our Instagram, our Discord, and our TCG player affiliate. Um, uh, our Discord um, is going to be having a lot of like how we reach out to the community, giving announcements, talking about new things. So if you're on Discord and you're watching our videos, I'd say it'd be a great idea to join it and stay in touch with us, get up to date news on what's going on and what we're doing. Our Also, our YouTube membership or our sort of like membership program will be in the video description as well. So if you want to become a member, I believe it's like two bucks a month. Helps the channel out a little bit and gives you some extra perks when you do join the Discord. So check those out. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet or are new to the channel, hopefully we've convinced you enough um, to keep joining us and subscribe to our channel. Um, but without further ado, let's hop right into the round. So two things. Mm. First thing. <laughs> This is right after we filmed the video with Ryan and Anthony. I forgot Congo says you can't add cards to security. There was other, still other stuff that happened where cards should have gone to security when Congo wasn't in play. But I realized this. I know I'm going to get y'all bet. I know it. But know that I still love you anyways. Okay? <laughs> From one highwayman's heart to you. It's okay. Um, I don't remember what the second thing was. I got so lost. There was something else. It'll come back to me later when it doesn't matter, I'm sure. Uh, oh, mm. everybody that we have on cam is a good player, I would say, except for when I'm on cam. <laughs> no, no. Oh, that that's a training. Well, that's an open. That's uh, an open. So Let's I did see. play against Will uh, mm. later on in the day. Um, I'm not going to say how I did. Uh, but so you oh, can, you that know, is also a review. Goes. Oh, boy. Uh, but Will pilots this deck very well, and I'm very interested to see how this game goes. So we're seeing Arata play out. Um, for those who don't know or don't remember, I'm probably going to need a refresher on this as well. But I believe Arata gains you a memory if you've got a, a like if your opponent has a Digimon in play, and then it does a bunch of effects me, when you have a Diaboro. Yeah, let me let me pull them up here. Uh, start of your turn, if there's a Digimon with the unidentified uh, or with unidentified in its type mm. in your trash, you gain a memory. And then your turn, when one of your Digimon digivolves into Diaboromon, you may suspend this Tamer to play one Diaboromon token without paying its memory cost, which okay. is the level 6 white Digimon with memory, co play co or memory cost of 14, 3 KDP, and our Mega Form unidentified type and unknown attribute. Um, that is a cheeky play that Will did. So... For people that know that Inframon, whenever one of it's, it's once per turn during your opponent's turn, when one of your opponents level five or higher, or when one of your opponents Digimon would digivolve into a level five or higher Digimon. Or sorry, when one of your opponents Digimon would digivolve into a level five or higher Digimon, it costs one more. Mm -hmm. Um, so that effectively so passes turn. Is a memory. Yeah. The Mega Digimon does unfortunately pop the Errata, um, but it does give Will the turn now. Uh, decides to crack the training to go into Corsari. Corsari. Yeah. Which, I believe that one normally spits out Narada, but I don't oh think he has one right now. Oh my god, again. 
double infirm on here. Yeah, so... Um, we'll Evo to Chaos. Chaos will be able to digivolve something, so that'll stop the extra memory cost from happening, I believe. I believe you would choose to digivolve one effect. first. Um, digivolve one... But I guess... Yeah, because one of the points Digimon digivolves into level 5, not when it would digivolve. So it's not interruptive, it's when they do it. So it would have to be on the board after the effect resolves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Anthony's going to go ahead and finish his thing. Punches the Gain other back. Infermon, And then deletes mm -hmm. off a of Mega Ramon's effect to clear board. And then goes into Hover and SP, that's... and then goes into another Hover SP. Off the hard just one, yeah. Just look and see a carom on there. And this is a... That's a scary board state. I mean... Will, unfortunately, has lost his errata. Um, there's no tokens or anything because he didn't get the chance to go into a Diaboromon. Could Death X here. Um, but, yeah... But Hover SP can't be deleted by effect, correct? Uh, yeah, as long as it's a tamer in play, it can't be deleted by your opponent's uh, I always forget that. Effects. Whenever I play against Anthony, I'm like, I'm going to pop Hover SP. And he's like, nope. Like, Hover SP is a sleeper shit. card, man. Yeah, so uh, while there's a tamer, the Sigimon gains blocker and can't be deleted by your opponent's <laughs> effects. This still be bounced, though. But that does not help uh, Will in this Go instance. right and back into another so chaos. His ace card is... Yeah. Kind of useless, unfortunately, and because it can't be deleted by effects, the it's that actually prevents death X. However, SP is immune to death X. <laughs> I have not thought about that interaction, and that's crazy. And because it's a, it doesn't even do anything to chaos. Yeah, it doesn't stop chaos at, at all. Either. Oh my god, oh, it's an oh, army of oh. hover SPs. You will contest if you can, so it'll DDG two. So now we have just three hover SPs on board <laughs> what is the, what that is can't be deleted on? because of the tamer in play. <laughs> So Death X is effectively just doing nothing to stop us over, over SPs. <laughs> and then we see Will Pass turn with an Inframon in the back. <laughs> what is going on, guys? Yeah. Um, Anthony should go to three. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Pitches one to and gain will. memory. Mm -hmm. Using Analog's effect. Here, he's got a couple options. We'll punch with Hover SP, punch again. Yeah. I mean, he knows. Yeah. Punch. Die. Punch again. And lives. Big guy. Yeah, because he does have. Goes into machine. Oh, yeah, and then goes into chaos. Chaos effect yeah. will slip stuff. That's kind of crazy. Hover SP just sits there and goes, Sorry, Death X, you're not clearing board. We're just going to chill. Yeah. Does one last check with chaos there. And plays out another analog, man. Um, wow. Yeah. Hover SP with that reboot. Hover SP will reboot <laughs> because of the Giga Dramon <laughs> inheritable. And then. Oh, that's funny. And you can gain uh, DP mm -hmm. on a redirect. Okay, so we see a Diaboro come out. And we see some. Are those Vanguard tokens? Yeah, he has Vanguard tokens for the Diaboro. Okay, but unfortunately, and Will realizes there's nothing he can do here. So, yeah, he just decides let's just save time for the next game. And those tokens, correct me if I'm wrong, those tokens aren't blockers, right? You need the EX Diaboro no. to become blocker. Yeah, it's the um it's the EX1 Diaboromon. Yeah. Uh that um opponents turn all of your Diaboromon gain blocker. So right now the tokens just kind of exist. I actually don't know if Will's running the EX1 Diaboromon. Um, yeah, really they're probably just for board pressure or like whiteboarding purposes. Because I know. I think he tried to keep it so the Diamor Diaboromon are all black cards. Mm -hmm. So for consistency. Because sure. the thing is the EX1 Diaboromon, um, the old BT2 Diaboromon, uh, the BT5 Diaboromon, all of them, they're not black cards. They're white cards. They just evil over black. For whatever reason. Uh, Armageddon as well is also a white card. Okay. Um, the only ones that are black cards are the promo that gets a kickback plus one for each Diaboromon you have in play and the ace. Gotcha. Which I believe are the only two that Will runs, and I think he runs the ace as a board control means, and then he uses the um, the promo for his aggression, where he basically can just swing for like <laughs> a, a lot of checks if sure. he has enough tokens on board. Gotcha. 
Um, um, both players start off pretty good. Um, have a stack in the back and multiple means of search. We see Anthony do a boost and then set up a tie. Will played out a searcher and just kind of did some chip damage. Ended up living, which is huge. And then played out an Izzy, essentially for three cost, because gaining a memory if all cards are black, which in Diaboro, most often they will be. And goes ahead and does Inframon in the back. Not bad. Not bad. I feel like there's a. I feel like it's worth it to run the EX1 Diaboro, even if you don't have the draw for it. Mm -hmm. Or, like, can, or not consistency off the boost with it. Just because giving all the tokens blocker can be really, really uh, annoying. Yeah. 100%. See a Diaboro Ace come out, play out two tokens, bottom or trash the Doruman, and pass turn. Yeah, and for yep. and for people unfamiliar with the Ace, the Ace has one digivolving, one digivolving, and one attacking, not once per turn. Uh, you may play one Diaboroman, uh, Digimon cost of uh, you know, it's the same token as the rest of them, uh, without paying the cost, and all turns once per turn. When an effect plays another Digimon, you may delete one of your opponent's play cost three or lower Digimon for each of your Diaboromon. Add two to the maximum play cost for this effect. Includes himself, too. It's not each other. It's mm -hmm. for each. Which is crazy. Yeah, because you can very easily Evo into him, play one. Um, and then, since it's a Yume effect, you don't have to use the alternate effect. So you can then go ahead and swing, mm -hmm. play another Dio Bormon token, and then uh, right there, you're already deleting a play cost of seven or less. And if right. you have a Rada on board, that's play cost of nine or less. And if you had more time, you can go even higher. Yeah. Anyways, sorry. Just kind of give okay, people a crash okay. course. I, I think, I don't know how many people have played Diaboro or have seen Diaboro and play. It's, I know it's been a while for me. Last time I played it was against Goldie when he made a Diaboro deck, like back in BT, what, BT9? BT10? It was a long time ago. He was just wanting to mess around with something. See all the tokens starting to uh, do their thing. Yep. And before he swings with the last one, we'll just opt to swing with it. Okay. Does he have a hybrid for game? Another Izzy picks up. And... Or doesn't pick anything. Play up some back with that. Yeah. And. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I, don't... I don't. Okay. So at this point, I think Anthony needs to do something, obviously, because otherwise Will can just go for game yeah. here. Send at f all five Anthony security is, still. Anthony has no it's analog. Crazy. Oof, He's swings still... into a training. Yeah. Um, He's, he has a machine Dramon, but no Chaos X. Mm -hmm. Does have the metal gray for the blocker, which is not bad. Yeah. And then plays out a hover SB. And bottom decks that. Okay. Fair. Fair, fair. So we've got blocker. Goes into Inframon for three. Mm -hmm. Got multiple Diaboros that he that can is... go into here. Okay, so that is a white Diaboro. That is the BT5 Diaboro. Uh -huh. That he just... Uh, he has a hand there as well. Does crack the training to go into the ace once again. Plays out a token to pop the blocker. And then... What is it? It shouldn't pop the blocker. Yeah, it should only... Oh, he includes himself. That's right. Yeah. Forgot. Yeah. So actually, it's even higher than what I said earlier. I'm stupid. Look at that. Is it including himself on top of those two, it's six. So it's, he's popping a nine cost just off of that. Mm -hmm. Arata's on board. He's already hitting 11. If you have two Arata's, you're hitting 13s. Yeah. Sheesh. Yeah, it's it can be pretty insane. The ace, the Diablo ace is a really good card. Yeah. Apologies for forgetting that though. My bad. Forgot uh, that he, yeah, uh, he counts himself card. too. I know. I didn't realize that either. That's a good card. Really, really good card. Yeah. It's a little expensive because when we inevitably get Diablo support, it's going to be very, very. It's still going to be like a, I'm pretty sure it's just running the deck no matter what. A hundred percent. But we do see a game three. So we love yeah. our game threes. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. 
Yeah, I think Will showing just like Diaboro when it wide boards. I mean, it's it's a wide board strategy, right? Like if you're mm -hmm. not seeing the right pieces to control a board, then they can just run away with the game. All right, we got two Karamans, one in back, one out front searching. That's quite a reveal. That's a lot of Karas going bottom of the deck. He will opt to just grab one of those so that he's not uh, lose access to all three of those rookies. He gets at least one of them. I uh, see Anthony come out, set up a tie, so ensures himself the memory. Goes ahead, chips mm -hmm. into a Congo, which at this point doesn't really matter. So it's honestly good that he chipped now, mm -hmm. rather than waiting for a big turn. He decides to just build a board, plays out another Karamon, and then goes into Hover SB. Ooh. Decides to just leave that there. All right, going to Kurosari. Then oh, goes into Rada. a Mame. Mame Man. Does see an Arata and an Izzy. Ops play the Izzy. I think that's a smart play. Get yeah. yourself the memory setter. And then he puts the cards back on top. Because mm -hmm. uh, that Mame Man is good. Ooh. Training to pick up a Metal Gray. And then plays out an analog to push over to three again. Yep. A pretty good setup, Will? I think, from both sides. I mean, Anthony's got yeah. a stack in progress and Tamer's out. Will's already got aggression with Arata, and now he's got the Diaboro with the token coming out. Yep. Not bad, not bad. There's no unidentified in trash yet, so he's not going to gain any extra memory off the Arata for mm -hmm. uh, the start of his turn, but. Well, now there actually, is. No, probably will now. So deletes. Yep. The level three and the Digivolve. Yeah, I have to leave the Diaboro. Mm -hmm. What's he can think in? What's he think in? Because this this Diaboro doesn't have any one Digivolving effects, but the other ones do, correct? No. Yeah, correct. The Ace and the BT5 one are both one Digivolving. You the one he has on board right now, the promo, turn. is your turn. It's just check plus he, one. Yeah, he gains check plus one for each Diaboro money he has in play. Ooh, Which includes himself, so he mm -hmm. himself is a sec is a two checks, right? And he's got a token out, so theoretically three checks. Yeah, um, does play out very... an analog, man. Hmm. Are we missing pieces here? But we will gain a memory. He had a Castromon in hand. He digivolves. Um, Oof. Another but I, token I'm wondering out. if he's thinking that he's he's okay, but this is gonna be four checks. I don't think Anthony realized. Okay. Does lives, lives. Ooh. Holy moly! And then the token just swings. Wow. Diaboro for the win. Look at that. Yeah, he. I think he Anthony did have... was realizing. I don't think he realized the the Diaboro counted itself. Yeah, I think he was, think, I I think think, he uh, was playing uh, for like he still had another turn, but the fact yeah. that Diaboro was able to swing for four checks. He I, wasn't expecting that yeah. much damage that fast, I think. I wasn't expecting, um, but, I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting Diaboro to do much at all. <laughs> <laughs> but there's also 11k bodies swinging in for four checks into a machine deck. That's scary. There's yeah. a lot of big bodies that you could check, and he didn't hit any of them, which was very, very lucky for him, but not so lucky for Anthony. But I mean, good game. Yeah. Overall. Good games from both players, and I think a good showcase of what Diaboro. This is our first Diaboro commentary vid, so it's been an, it's it was refreshing. You know, I hadn't seen Diaboro played for quite a while, so I definitely needed some refreshing on yeah. like what the deck does. And I think this was almost like a pretty spot on showcase of what you want to do with this sort of deck. Um, yeah, for sure. I agree. I think and you play it more than I, I do, or probably know more about it than I do, but like there are probably like two ways to kind of go about it, right? You can kind of go about the way that Will did, which is like sort of whiteboard and just aggressively swing. Or you could probably set up like just a bunch of annoying blockers and like just set up a, like a huge wall and then go for game at the yeah. right time. I think uh, Will's definitely opting for a more aggressive version of the build. There's definitely, I think that the EX1 Diaboro is just kind of gives you some more tokens like insecurity and yeah. then also just gives you yeah. a bit more gives you a bit more defense um i don't think it's a bad card to run but i don't know exactly what his build is maybe it's a little bit too tight to fit in there yeah uh but to be fair in today's current meta i think that the defensive strategy without protections on the stack there's no reason to do that right so i think at the end of the day it is better just to go for the build that will is doing where you're just more focused on aggression 
and a little bit of like cheeky control with like sure. the Inframon kind of getting you memory and um yeah. the ace with the the support the ace the ace card offers. is just really really good for this deck. it is so so, so yes. good yeah. um but yeah good match shout out to both players for for a well played one and hopefully you guys enjoyed it let us know what you guys think down below um as always thank you for the support and hopefully you guys if you're new to the channel can keep tuning in and if you're old and returning once again hopefully you keep it up so thank you all and we'll see you on the next one bye 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 bye